for welding on all of my vehicles i've been using this arbor freight welder and for the price you honestly can't beat it it has done and performed every which way i've needed it to uh, but for welding onto a broken stud like this one i have here it uh, it did the job as you guys saw in my other videos uh replacing the exhaust manifolds on my dodge uh, but what I wanted to do was break down exactly what I did in the welding portion of it because I didn't have a video of it due to uh, <laughs> constraints on space. So the intent of this video is to show you guys exactly how to weld a nut on the end of, come over here, a broken stud. So you can, this was the one that we did, recover or extract the bolt out of the engine block. For my welder settings, when I do my initial slag pile weld, is what I call it, on the back of the bolt, uh, I set this welder, again it's from Harbor Freight, super affordable, uh, great welder. Uh, I set it to just above, you know, 1.5-ish on my feed, for my speed, because I don't want that stuff pouring out. I want to build a big nice pile on the back of these bolts, and I also set my setting to max. You obviously don't have a whole lot of choices, but <laughs> sometimes that's easier. Uh, so we go with our maximum setting on our on our power. So in a series here, this is the broken stud. This is where I've welded a slag pile on top of the stud. Next series, we'll be putting the bolt over this slag pile and then welding this bolt to that slag pile on top of this bolt. This is the first initial weld. So in this weld, what you're doing, get your lead out there a little bit. You're just touching the end of this, basically where this punch is, and building up a hot little slag pile that will mate up to this stud and start building up a pile of this material on top of it, of your wire feed, to slip a nut on. So what you want to do is make contact and then hold it there for about two or three seconds because if you just tap it the weld actually won't be strong enough and it'll just continue to break off so i'll show you a few of these welds And you can do that as much as you want. That pile will just keep building up and up and up as tall as you want it. You can actually build it up tall enough just to get pliers on it and grab it and spin it off that way as well. Occasionally, you want to take your pliers and grab the end of it and actually test it once it gets cooled off just to make sure that it's actually stuck to your bolt and twist it a little bit. And that one is pretty solid that little slag pile on there is actually really tight even though my welding was not great <laughs> as you guys could see coming in close you can see how tall this little slag pile is <clears throat> Whoa. Grab it with the old pliers and wiggle it, twist it. It's not coming off of there. It's pretty tight. And if we grab a nut, set it on there, it looks pretty good. And then so what I want to do is get this thing set up so we can weld inside of this nut. And what it'll do is weld that to that little slag pile and then we'll be able to back this bolt out. 
Uh, the nut you want to use is about the exact same diameter as your slag pile just so it stays on there pretty solidly and you guys can see in my video that I actually use uh, blue masking tape to hold this in place against the block it also starts on fire really easily so be aware of that but it's also very easily manageable when it starts on fire uh, and for the welder I want to come over to our welder and I want to turn my speed up to about four and that way what I'm trying to do is infill the interior of this bolt on top of that stud when you start your welding you want to work from the edges and just do little circles and make sure you keep your pool at the bottom hot so your lead has to stay down in the bolt longer as you work your way up but you also want to watch, you know, take breaks every once in a while and watch this nut because this will heat up enough to actually melt. So we got a nice pool going. We'll let that cool down. Let the nut cool down. Obviously, you can see it's getting pretty hot. Got a good weld going here. Everything's connected just fine. We want to work on this side over here. It's our weak side now. And that should do it. Now once this cools off, we can throw a socket on it and actually back that out. If it was in the motor, I'd show you that part, but since it's not, you just have to trust me that it works.